Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, Alancio, the great level 70 druid of the Budgie Smugglers Guild. Now, today, I'm on a mission. I'm here to find two female pallies. Now, not just any type of pallies. They are dwarfen female pallies. Now, I know what you're going to say. Why, Alancio, would you be looking for dwarfen female pallies? Because everyone knows they are the most fugliest thing you can ever come across. But, just to prove that there are lesbian pallies roaming about these hills, I've decided to make it my goal today to show you these pallies in action just to prove that there are ones out there. So let's go for a journey and see if we can find them. Now, after following some very bad advice for some, from some female travellers on the road, I'd finally found someone to give me proper directions towards an area where they should be located. Now, I'm on my way there to find them, just to observe them. Now, I do not want to make them see me or anything like that. I just want to stay inconspicuous. So I just kind of blend into the surroundings, hoping to come across them. And we have success. We have located the female dwarven pallies. Now, from a distance, they look like just any normal creature. But as we get closer, you can start to realise that they are fugly. Like not just any kind of fugly. They have thankles. They have very strange haircuts. They look like blokes with boobies. Now, I just cannot help myself. This strange, ugly little occurrence just has my full attention but something just doesn't seem right and I notice the chickens and then poor little chickens following them I just cannot help believe that these female dwarves have some kind of kinky sexual relationship with them chickens now something does not seem right so maybe if we keep watching something might happen Now, as we sit back and watch, these dwarven pallies reap carnage among these anorexic skeleton people. I just can't help but feel sorry for these skeleton people because, honestly, what have they done? They have not done nothing to these little dwarves, but they just seem to mercilessly beat the crap out of them. And the ch poor little chickens have got to watch it all. And I'm thinking, them poor chickens are going to be that traumatised, they'll never be able to make it to KFC in time to become Mick Phillips. That's all I can say. Now, as we can see, ladies and gentlemen, these bloodthirsty little devils are still wandering around looking for fresh anorexic bone people to slaughter. It is disgraceful. If I had any sense with, of myself, I should try to stop them, but I can't disclose myself to these strange little people. I must stay hidden. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as we start to come to a close, I've realised that these pallies, these little female dwarf pallies, are going to be very intriguing. So we're going to follow them over the next few episodes and just see what becomes of them. And for my final thought of the day, I just believe that there are many strange creatures and we have to do our best to find and follow and discover everything that is about them. I've been Lancel and it has been a great pleasure working with you tonight. Look forward to seeing you next episode.